going to uh, do a glute squad workout, so we're going to be working on the glutes again, but this time we're going to add a band. So um, hopefully you've got one of these, uh, if not you can pick them up on Amazon, uh, but if you have the longer bands as well you can always double loop those to make a nice short band. You want something uh, you know, about 30 centimetres in a loop. Um, the thicker and stronger the band, the harder these exercises are going to be. So just try and set your band up that's the best um, level of difficulty for you. So, like with all the videos, we'll include a PDF of the workout uh, linked below, so you'll be able to see your sets and reps. So, let me take you through the exercises. We have got some key pairings, two key pairings, and then we've got like a finisher kind of burnout set that's really going to uh, torch the glutes, uh, a little bit on the thighs and the legs as well. Um, but you're also probably going to fill your abs too on this, so it's a bit of an all-rounder. So, take your band and very carefully climb into it. If you need to, sit yourself down on something, hold on to something that won't fall over. Make sure you've got some nice space around you to work out. You're not going to knock any, uh, anything off your coffee table um, or you know, kick into something and hurt yourself, so just be careful as well. So, to start with, you're going to need something to rest your shoulders on. So, a step works great, a chair, uh, your, your side of your bed, your sofa, something like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to rest our shoulders on it. And what you're going to see is you know, you've got the band around your knees. So, when the band's just above the knees like this, when you push out to the side, you should feel the glutes activate. So, that's what we're going to be trying to do today is keep the band with some tension on it to really get those glutes working. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do 10 hip thrusts. So we're lifting our hips up, but all the time I'm pushing out on the band, okay? So that's hips up and a big squeeze at the top. With a lot of these exercises, the most important thing is how you do it, okay? If you just rush through these, you probably won't feel it anywhere near as if you did it properly, slowly, under control, okay? Once you've done 10 of those, you're gonna come into the donkey kick position. So that's hands and knees, you're going to keep your uh, knee at 90 degrees, and what we're going to do is we're going to raise up. Okay, and as you're pulling against that band, you're going to feel the glutes really working. So you'll do 10 on one side, and then 10 on the other. And you want to make sure that the core is tight on that, okay? You don't want to see the back moving up and down like this. It's all coming from the hip. With this one, sometimes people find they actually get a little bit more from it with just body weight. So if you need to take the band off for any of these exercises and just do them regularly, you're still going to be working the glutes, you're still going to get some benefit. So, we have 10 hip thrusts with the band pushing the knees out. 10 donkey kicks on each side, squeezing that leg up, big pause at the top if you can. 10 of those on each side, and we're going to aim for four rounds. Okay. Next, after you've done four rounds of that, we're going to move on to two new exercises. So, we're going to go to a wall set. And what we're going to do is we're going to push the band out to the side for 15 repetitions. Okay, keep your posture, try and think of something positive and not the burning that's going on in your legs. Okay, you're gonna do 15 of those. You're gonna put yourself onto your back for a glute bridge march. So this one's gonna require a bit more core control. So, band around the knees again. Hips up, squeeze the glutes tight, abs tight, and then you're gonna pick up one knee at a time. Okay, all the time. Squeezing your glutes. If you have any discomfort in your back on any of these exercises at time, just slow it down. This one, for example, could just be turned into a regular glute bridge with a little squeeze at the top. That's still going to work the glutes really hard. But if you can, keep those hips up and go for some marches. And we're going to go for 10 marches on each side. So 15 of the abductions on the wall, 10 of those on each side. Obviously, if you're a glute pro, you've been training your glutes for a little bit, and you want to pick up the pace, then obviously you can increase the number of reps, but you can also increase the number of rounds. So like with the first set, if you can go for four rounds of that pair as well, that would be awesome. At this point, you probably want to sit down, let the legs breathe a little bit, let some blood flow back into them, and then get ready for your finisher. So, this is going to be a ladder. Now what a ladder is, is where you start at one repetition, and each round the reps are going to go up. Okay, so what you're going to do is this. Get into a nice squat position, band around the knees, create that little bit of tension to feel the glutes. We're going to do one squat. We're then going to side shuffle, two steps, and do two squats. Okay? We're going to side shuffle back, two big steps. If you notice, my feet never come closer than this. So it's a little step, little step. 
Okay? So you're back over here now, and we're going to go for three squats. Hope you can see where this is going. Two steps back, four squats. Okay? Keep that tension on. It's really going to burn. Once you've done that, a couple more steps. Five reps. I want to see if you can get to ten. Okay? See how you go. That'll be 55 squats in total with your side steps in between, so it's really going to burn, but it's going to be a great glute workout. And you'll be pleased to know that you only need to do that final thing for one round. So, get stuck in, let me know how you go.